morning guys, I hope you are all well. I have just come back from the Asda and Home Bargain shop. But before I got into that, I wanted to show you this other purchase that I made in Audi last weekend. Um, as you know, if you've been following me, um, we're going to Butlins this summer and I don't have a suitcase and I've only got a teeny tiny car. So a suitcase or two suitcases are just not going to fit in my car. So I needed a holder, a really big holder. Um, but online they're 50 quid for a holder, they're 50 pound. But in Audi last week, they were 14.99. So I was toddling my backside down there on Sunday morning to pick one up. And I just wanna show you how awesome this is. So just let me turn the camera around. So here is the holder. I mean, look how much space is in there. For me and my son, that's probably gonna fit everything in. And then it does up as well. And the best thing is it has wheels. It has wheels. So I can just grab this handle I can wheel it. I don't even have to carry it. How awesome is that? I'm so happy with my little purchase here. So these are $14.99 Audi. They were on the special buy. Um, they had grey and black. I don't know if they got any left and you couldn't buy them online. You had to buy them in store. But if you're going away and you just want a big giant holder, I really recommend these. They're great. Okay, now I've got my excitement out of the way of the hold all that I brought. I'm really happy. I think it's an age thing. I really think it's an age thing. I'm in a really good mood today anyway, guys, because I don't know why, but I'm hitting the perimenopause stage of my life. I know I don't look it, but unfortunately it's there and I'm embracing it and loving it. But I started taking magnesium glycinate, pure magnesium glycinate before I go to sleep. And I have been sleeping so well and waking up so refreshed the next day. I don't know if it's to do with it right now. I'm still in the early days, but so far it's fantastic. So I'm loving it. So if you are in a menopause, perimenopause stage of your life and you're struggling with sleeping or anything else, just try pure magnesium glycinate um, just before you go to bed and see, just see how it feels. Each body is different, so it might be different for you, but just see how it feels. Just uh, give him my little tip there. Okay, so let's get into it. I went to Ho Bargains and Asda today. In Asda, I spent £13.10p, and in Home Bargains, I spent £18.98. Now, a little bit more than I would usually spend, but I bought some teacher gifts, because we only got a few weeks left of school in the UK, and I bought some bits and pieces for my nieces for Christmas. So I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to show you what I got. I've lost my words. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's start with Asda. I've got a few yellow stickers today. I got some more ripe and sweet raspberries. They don't look the best, but to be honest, my son and I are going to probably munch on these within a day or so. They were £2 down to £1.6. I also bought some more blueberries. These were 99p down to 69p. And I bought two of those because um, I'm going to be, I don't know, I feel like making something with blueberries. I'll see, see, see how I feel. Um, I bought these banana pancakes. My little one loves pancakes. Um, so I, I, find, I saw these. He's never tried banana pancakes. Um, well, he says he hasn't, but he has when he was little, but apparently he never. And these were in the yellow sticker. These were £1.35 down to 77 page. So I thought I'd try them with him and see what he what he thinks he loves these hot dog things i think they're absolutely disgusting myself but he likes them and they are they were one pound 30 down to 36p so we are going to have um hot dogs um when are we going to have hot dogs we might have hot dogs tomorrow we'll have hot dogs tomorrow then i'll see if i can freeze them i'm not sure if i can freeze them we'll find out and so i bought those for, for my little boy I bought these watermelon slices. They're 33p each. They were 50 down to 33. Because that giant watermelon I bought, I ate it. All of it. It's gone. Well, a quarter of it is in the freezer to me for me to make some ice cream. But the rest of it went. And now I've got a craving for watermelon. So I saw these 33p each and I thought I'll have those. Um, crispy and nutty sugar snap peas. Uh, these weren't yellow stickers, but these were a pound. Um, I have never tried them. So I saw them and I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick them up and I'm going to give them a go. Um, I bought some more baked beans and sausages because my little one's got jacket potatoes this week. I'll have a jacket potato as well, I think. Um, and then he loves them with baked beans, sausages and cheese. 
Um, and then I've got some more low fat yogurt and some Greek yogurt because my little one wanted me to make pizza and I make pizza with flour and yogurt. Um, if you'd like me to show you how I do that, then do let me know. And I bought some more uh, low fat yogurt because I want to make these blueberry. Oh, that's what I was going to do. The blueberry yogurt things covered in dark chocolate. Oh, well, that's what I'm going to do. OK, so yeah, so the Greek fat uh, yogurt for pizza. Um, I then bought this sauerkraut. So if you watched my last video that I will link down in the description box below, um, I actually got some sauerkraut free from the Olio app because I've never tried it and I wasn't sure if I'd like it. Anyway, this, I loved it. It was delicious. Um, this was £1.50 for that big jar. I thought, you know what, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad, £1.50 for that amount. So I like that. I bought some jellies because I'm going to make some trifle. Um, my little one was asking if he could have some trifle. So it's just jelly and then some custard and then some uh, squirty cream, which I actually forgot. But I'm an Aldi tomorrow, so I'll pick that up. Squirty cream on top with sprinkles. He absolutely loves it. So I picked a couple up uh, so I can do it a few times for him because... Um, you get one, I don't buy the custard pots because they cost a pound for a custard pot and you only get six. Where if you use custard powder, it's only like 54p and you probably get eight or nine. So a little tip for you there. And I have some custard powder left anyway. Um, I bought some chicken burgers. My little one loves these chicken burgers. Um, so I've got, I bought those for him. We'll have burgers at some point this week or he will anyway. I want to make black bean burgers. So that might give me the excuse that we're going to have burgers. And I got some more porridge oats because I got some leftover bananas, which I am going to make some more oat cookies. And I'll flip over in a little while and show you that today, because I get up at 4 a.m. every day, I've made sweet potato chocolate brownies and I've made a um, whole food plant-based banana bread as well, which I'm so excited to get into. So this was my Asda shop and this cost me £13.10p. So I don't think that's too bad. I think I got quite a bit of stuff. I got quite a few yellow stickers. I got a big jar of sauerkraut. I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy with that. So let's move over to Home Bargains. So the first thing I picked up was some um, uh, vanilla essence. Now, what is the difference between Madagascar Villa vanilla and just vanilla? Because there's obviously a bit of a price increase. I just went for the cheap one, but we'll see what it tastes like, if it makes any difference. Um, another little loofah thing for myself. I bought some more surface wipes and I had to buy floor wipes because yesterday my son was colouring on my laminate flooring and got pen all over my flooring. I got it off. But I was annoyed, so I'm going to have that upstairs because he was in my bedroom colouring and I'm going to be ready. <laughs> so if he's colouring again, I can scrub it off straight away. Um, and then I got the dog some more dog treats as well because he's running low. I bought this body spray because I bought a different one the other day and it was disgusting. I didn't like it. It was a yellow one. I just didn't like the smell. Um, so I just, I, I, I'm going to keep it as a last resort if I run out and I don't have any more. But I'm going to try this black black poppy spray instead see how that goes um i bought a thank you bag teacher because obviously it said end of school is coming up this was only 69p um so the teacher gift i'm doing for his main teacher is a stationary box with pads pens pencils rubbers rulers sharpeners all those kind of stuff and i'm also going to give her a 10 pound amazon voucher my sister-in-law is a teacher herself and the amount of mugs and chocolates and flowers that she gets is endless so I thought just try something different that she might appreciate more. But for his teaching assistant, I found this big heart shaped little mice with a pen notepad. Um, and this was only $1.99. So I thought I got her that and I've got some biscuits, some teacher biscuits upstairs. And I'm going to get her a small bunch of flowers to say thank you because they've done wonders with my little boy this, this term. It's been fantastic. Um, and then I bought my rainbow drops, which I'm unhappy, guys. They look smaller. I'm still being charged 49p for a smaller bag. Rip off. Bloody rip off. I bought my juice drink because I drink water most of the time, but every now and again, I really struggle to get to just to drink water. So if that's the case, I just put a little bit of this in and it helps me drink the water. Um, I wasn't going to buy Mawam stripes anymore because they're £1.9. £1.9 for these. However... These are jelly and ice cream flavour, guys. You know, I think my little boy is going to love them. Three different flavours. And what have they got? Strawberry and vanilla, blackcurrant and vanilla, and raspberry and vanilla. 
I bet he'll like them. Oh, I might go strawberry picking this weekend. Let's see. Okay, rice cakes, paprika rice cakes. If you know me, you know I love my rice cakes. Um, and then these, I've got these handy wipes again. I bought these last week and bought them again. And these are to take to Butlin. So I've got eight packs. We're going for four or five days. I've got eight packs. Should be plenty. Should be plenty. And they're never going to go to waste, are they? And then these are the things that I bought my nieces. So my one niece is having a hair box from my son. So bows, clips, bands. I'm going to get her a hairbrush with her name on it. Um, so she's having a hair box and my other niece is having a pamper box so i bought these space jewels which i think she will absolutely love and i think these were like 99p and these were 69p so i thought that's not bad price and then i bought these two as well these gems go in your hair now if you've got two girls you know you can't have one without the other so even though my one niece is having a hair box i know i couldn't go I couldn't just give her one. I knew I'd have to do two. And these glow in the dark. And I think these were 99p each. So I know they're going to adore those as well. And then I also got this tiny little face mask, this Poppy Panda face mask for my little niece. Um, she should be old enough to have it. But I'll give it to her mum and her mum can make that judgment call. Uh, but I thought that's a nice little thing of putting her pamper box. I bought some more baking parchment and then I also bought some fruit hearts and I bought some strawberry twists because my little one's running out. But I also thought I would take a couple of packets out of each of them and put them away for when we go to Butlins to have as a snack to go around the park and stuff like that because their prices are expensive. So this cost me £18.98p. So you're looking around 25, no, 35 pounds, 35 pounds for all of this, roughly. So I don't think I did a bad job. I got a few extra bits. I got some Christmas stuff and I got some teacher stuff. I always buy it now because it's, if I start buying it now, it's less near Christmas. So that's what I kind of do. But my video on what I, how I um, plan for Christmas is coming. Um, that will be out in the next week or so. So do keep an eye on that one. Okay, I'm just going to show you my quick banana bread and sweet potato before I cut it up and try not to eat it but freeze it. Okay, so this is my sweet potato um banana chocolate brownies absolutely delicious I, I cooked it just before i took my little one to school and i've let it cool down so that's coming out soon and being cut up um and frozen um i'm going to try really hard not to eat it as i do that and then i also made this banana bread now i've never uh, tried this particular recipe because it's a whole food plant-based recipe instead of using egg i used apple sauce i don't know what it's going to taste like but we'll give it a go we'll see how it is but yeah i was making this at 5 a.m this morning i woke up at four did some work and then at 5 a.m i was making these two so yeah so that that's what i've got so far and then tomorrow will be the aldi shop so let's go to that now. and here is the aldi shop this was actually a lot cheaper than my previous weeks this was only 29 pound 13p i think i knew it was 29 pound something um so i didn't pick up a couple of things i didn't pick up cherry tomatoes because i still got loads left from my little shop the other day um and i didn't pick up celery because I just forgot, so I need to go and pick up that. The little dino things that I get my little boy, I didn't pick those up either, because if you watch my last video, which I'll link for you in the description box, or I'll link it at the end, they had mango flavoured like yo-yo things, and he loved them, so he wants more of them. So I'm going to pop to Lidl this weekend. Um, so yeah, so this is what I've got. So let's get into it. Uh, so I've got some more bananas, but baking, for eating. Um, I have seen a chocolate banana mousse being made, so I do want to give that a try. Um, I've got my kiwis, I've got some more oranges, um, I've got some apples, and I've got some pears. Um, and then we've got some more strawberries, because I know I bought strawberries yesterday, but they're gone. Like, my little one and I just sat there and ate away at them last night so they're all gone so i had to buy some more strawberries but i am thinking of taking my little one strawberry picking this weekend because we're eating a lot of strawberries at the moment and he says he wants some strawberry ice cream and i know how to make strawberry uh, lollies myself so i thought oh i might just go strawberry picking um i bought myself another almond milk and i bought this bash and dash dino edition it's like frustration if you're older like me then you'll know what frustration is this is a travel game 
So I had Connect Four and I've got Guess Who already. I bought them last year. But as this time when we're going away, we're going away with my brother and his family and he's got two girls. I thought that maybe we could play um, this frustration game with them as well while we're just kind of like hanging around not doing much so that was only 2 99 and they had a unicorn one as well and they had they had guess who they had snakes and ladders and they had like a hungry hippo one um, called dinosaur something which I probably will get him next week if it's still there but I thought they were really good especially you can play in the car so you can play with my mum in the car while I'm driving um, I bought some bread and I bought some hot dog rolls because we've got well my little one and my mum has got hot dogs for dinner tonight and then we're going out for the weekend to like an American car show thing in our local area so I thought I could make him some rolls up to take with that to there as well sorry uh, then I've got my ham and I've got a red cabbage I just saw this it was 75p and I thought oh I haven't had this in ages I thought I'm going to slice it up I don't know really what to do with it but I'm sure I'll figure it out. I got some more peppers and then I got my rice cakes. I had to get two sweet chilli, one normal and one corn rice cakes. They had nothing else there. No salt and vinegar, no caramel, nothing. That was all they had. Um, so that's all I picked up. I should have picked up two of these, but I'm sure we'll get by. Uh, spring onions, these are quite a lot. These are only 50p so and they're quite big. So I picked those ones up. I've got my carrots and I've got my lettuce. And then I've got spinach as well. Um, I really think I should buy two bags because spinach is really good for me at the moment because I'm going through the perimenopause, guys. So spinach is really, really good. Um, and then got some baby butter mushrooms because I've eaten all mine already. Um, I got some broccoli. I got some more dark chocolate chips. Sorry, I'm going to let the dog out again. Hopefully the cat's not there. Go. Um, I've got some more dark chocolate chips because we ran out because I made some more sweet potato brownies so I had no more chocolate chips. Um, I had got tomato wheels. I only got, I got four packs this week because they had none of the rice cakes that my little one likes. So I might have to pop, we've got two Aldis in our area so I might have to pop to the other one to see if they've got any. Um, and then I've got my two lentil crisps as well. And then I've got these banana and shrimp uh, sweets too because Harry Bow now is like £1.25 for a big bag and I thought you don't need a big bag so I bought these 55p they had lots of different ones I know that he likes these so I thought I'd pick those up as well so that is it there's not much this week guys I didn't really buy much but I did forget a couple of things and I am going to have to pop to Lidl and the other Aldi to see if they've got the rice cakes and stuff but yeah, but that's what I've got. So what do you think? Do you think it was a good shopping week, a bad shopping week? Do let me know in the comments below. Um, and any other videos you'd like me to start filming, let me know those as well. Because I, I love hearing your comments and your suggestions. And I am getting round to all of them, I promise. I really am. Okay, that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you're having a good week. And I'll catch you on the next one.